Today, I would like to tell you about kidney cancer. Firstly, let's talk about some basic facts of kidney cancer. The good news is kidney cancer is not a common cancer, accounting for only 3% of cancers in adults. It is more commonly found in men, roughly twice as common compared to women, and patients are diagnosed in their late adulthood, usually in their 50s. 90% of kidney cancers have no identifiable cause, and most of these are believed to be due to the spontaneous gene mutation occurring late in adult life and leading on to kidney cancer. However, about 10% of kidney cancers are found in patients with family history of kidney cancers, and these are due to transmitted cancer genes which lead to disease syndromes associated with kidney cancer. Although it is a rare cancer, the bad news is kidney cancer is usually silent in its early stage. In other words, by the time kidney cancer causes symptoms, the cancer is already at an advanced stage. And these advanced symptoms would include passing visible blood in the urine, pain in the flank, or detection of a mass at the site of the patient's abdomen. As mentioned, by this stage, the cancer may already be advanced and surgery alone may not be useful. On the other hand, the good news is we are seeing more kidney cancers presenting in their earlier stages, even before the patient has any symptom. And we are able to do so because more and more people now have radiological or x-ray scans done on them. These scans, such as ultrasound or CT scans, are commonly done for other purposes by other specialists. And in the process of doing these scans, the kidney cancers are detected coincidentally while they are still at a small size. Cancers where confined to the kidney at this stage have an excellent result when they undergo appropriate surgical treatment. So let's talk about the treatment options for kidney cancer when it is confined to the kidney. Traditionally, more than 20 years ago, surgery for kidney cancer will necessitate a long painful cut of the abdomen to remove the entire kidney. This is what is known as open radical nephrectomy cutting the patient open to remove the kidney. Due to the large incision, patients take up to one week or even two weeks to cover, recover from surgery. These days, we reserve this operation only for the largest cancers which have extended out of the kidney into surrounding structures. What is more commonly done these days is keyhole surgery to remove the kidney what's known as laparoscopic radical nephrectomy. Through a few small incisions, we can remove the kidney safely without having to put the patient through a painful recovery period. Patients are usually discharged within three days after surgery and can get back to their normal activities within one to two weeks. We can remove kidney cancers up to 10 centimeters uh, through this technique. This is a picture of a cancer in the left kidney in patient for which we performed keyhole surgery. This is the view we see during the surgery making use of advanced surgical instruments and camera systems. Over the past 10 years, a revolution in kidney cancer surgery has taken place such that removing the entire kidney is no longer a must. We can now remove only part of the kidney containing the cancer leaving the normal part of the kidney behind. This is known as partial nephrectomy. This revolutionary surgery means that patients with poor kidney function due to conditions such as diabetes or hypertension can avoid losing a huge chunk of their kidney function when one entire kidney is removed. It may mean the difference between dialysis or no dialysis. Partial nephrectomy is suitable for cancers that are small in the range of about 4 to 5 centimeters, such as this picture here. Partial nephrectomy is a technically challenging surgery and will usually require open surgery with a large incision. The disadvantage is that patients will have a longer recovery period just like open surgery. The latest in partial nephrectomy technology is the use of robot-assisted surgery. We now use the Da Vinci surgical robot to perform partial nephrectomy without having to make a large incision. Patients will still get to preserve the kidney while at the same time receiving all the benefits of keyhole surgery such as less pain, 
faster recovery, shorter hospital stay, and small scars. This video demonstrates the robotic instruments being used to cut up a kidney tumour. So we are here in the robotic operating theatre at Nantong Singh Hospital. This is the, our Da Vinci robot. So the surgery is uh, performed with, through these instruments which are inserted into the patient through tiny incisions. So the surgery is performed using the robot while the surgeon is seated over here. This is the surgeon's console where the surgeon controls the robot through the, this uh, hand and foot control. So the surgery is actually performed by the surgeon using the robot. Surgery plays a major role in the treatment of early stage kidney cancer. By removing all the cancer, long-term cure rates for kidney cancer is at least 80% reaching up to 90% for smaller cancers. So, this brings us to another question. What about patients who are unfit to undergo surgery due to their other medical problems, such as stroke, heart attack, lung problems, etc.? Well, there is now an alternative treatment in selected patients with kidney cancer who are unfit to undergo surgery. These patients undergo what's known as ablative therapy. Our interventional radiologist at TTSH is here to tell you more. Hi, uh, I'm an interventional radiologist in Tan Tok Seng Hospital. Uh, and as part of the oncologic care here in Tan Tok Seng Hospital, we work very closely with the urologists in selecting patients for uh, percutaneous uh, image-guided thermal ablation of kidney tumors. As mentioned earlier on, uh, percutaneous ablation uh, is very good for select group of patients. For instance, when patients cannot go for surgery because they are medically unfit, or when patients have very small tumors and choose not to go for surgery, it is also very good for patients who have uh, genetic disorders that predispose them to multiple tumors throughout their whole life. And also, lastly, uh, it is also good for patients who have a limited kidney function such as patients with single kidneys. So in percutaneous uh, thermal ablation, we make a very small incision on the skin and we use ultrasound and CT scan to help put this ablation probe into the tumor itself. But once we accurately locate the tumor and confirm that the ablation probe is in a good, in a good location, uh, we will deploy the needles and you can see this is where the prongs of the needle comes out. And this is where the ablation is gonna take place. And all these individual times, will de deposit thermal energy to kill the tumor itself. When the procedure is finished, we will actually bring this needle back again, everything back and take out the needle itself. A uh, typical procedure takes about two hours for the patient. The downtime is minimal. They usually will be discharged either in the evening or the next day itself. I hope in this educational video, you have learned that kidney cancer detected in its early stage is highly treatable. Over the last 20 to 30 years, the surgical treatment for kidney cancer has progressed rapidly, ranging from open surgery, keyhole surgery, robotic surgery, and even ablative treatment. Thank you.